Hi guys! We have been showing you how to replicate some of the blocks of options that we have in our Yeetful Commerce product add-ons and extra options plugins live demo. Today I'm going to show you how to replicate the block of options that we have in the personalized towel for newborn. This one has four different images that have four different towels where you can choose from and when clicking on one of them you're going to be changing the product's image. It also has a text box where you can type the name of the baby so we can have it customized for you. Before we get into it, let me remind you of course to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now let's get to it. Okay, so this is the product that we're going to replicate in this video, the personalized towel for newborn. We have the product image right here. We have four different styles to choose from. We're going to set this up so when I click on one of these options, the product image changes. We have a checkbox right here and a text box that is going to be required and will be hidden if the checkbox is deselected. So this is what the product looks like without any options. It's a simple product which is one image, the title personalized towel for newborn. It's $26 and here's the description. Let's go to the dashboard and we're going to create the block of options from ETH, product add-ons, add block. I'm going to name this one newborn. As always, this is just a name for us. Add options and the first add-on was the label or image one. So the title is going to be choose style and I'm going to add four options here. The first one is going to be baby dragon. Let's add a tooltip baby dragon towel and no description an image yes i'm going to upload an image i already have my images uploaded right here in my media library i'm going to choose this one choose image and i'm not going to change the price when this option is selected i'm going to do this exact same procedure for the following options Great, so now I have my four options. I'm going to save, save again, and let's head over to rules to assign this block of options to the specific product. Personalized towel for newborn. Show options to all users, save, back to the site, refresh. Great, now we have the first set of options. Those are my images my labels, my tooltip above. Now I love the way they look, but I would like to change the product image when I select an option that's not the baby dragon. This image is not related to the option that I click here. We see the baby dragon option because this one has the same image as the product itself. So let's go back to the dashboard. Let's choose this set of options and head over to display settings and we're going to replace with options images and now to style and we're going to choose the center alignment save save back to the site refresh and if i choose the mermaid towel the product image changes same with sweet lamb and the teddy bear one. Back to the dashboard. Now let's add the second add-on. Checkbox. And this checkbox was the option to get the towel customized to add the name of the newborn to it. So the title is going to be Customize with the baby's name. And there's only going to be one option and the option is going to be Yes, I want it customized. Let's set a tooltip, customize it. No image. I am going to change the price of the 
product when this option is selected. So increase the main product price to a fixed amount of $5. And we're going to select this option by default. Save. Save. Back to the site. Refresh. Great. So now the option is selected because I set this up to be selected by default. There's my title, my label, my tooltip customize it, and the increase in the product price, $5. Here it is. Now we're giving customers the option to customize the towel and have the baby's name on it, but we need them to tell us the baby's name. So we're going to add a text box right here so they can type the name of the baby. Back to the dashboard. Add option, input text, and we're not going to give it a title because the checkbox already has a title and this is an option for the checkbox. For a label, I'm going to type enter the name of your baby and for only five bucks, we will embroider it on the towel and let's add a tooltip and our name and we're going to choose this as required okay so save save again great so now i have my checkbox selected by default and i have the text box right here my label enter the name of your baby and for only five dollars we will embroider it on the towel we have the tooltip and her name, and we can type the name right here. Now, I set this up as required, so if I try to add to cart, I'm going to get this notice. Please fill out this field because it's required. Now, if I deselect the option to get the towel customized, I can still see the text box and type on it, but I shouldn't because the text box should only be an option if the checkbox is selected. So, let's fix that in the dashboard. And we're going to select this add-on and let me just change the display setting right here because they have just one and conditional logic right here yes so we're going to show this set of options if the option to customize with the baby's name yes I want to customize is selected save save again back to the side refresh great so now i have this option selected by default which is why i can see the text box it's not hidden and if i deselect this the text box disappears it's hidden because i don't want to customize the towel i'm not choosing that and let's add this to the cart. I'm going to choose one of these towels. I have my teddy bear picked out. This option checked. Yes, I want to customize. I'm going to enter a baby's name. Let's say Emma. And I have the base product price, which is $26. I have my total options, which are $5. And the total price is $31. Same as here. Add to cart. View cart. And here is my product's name. The style I chose. The option to have it customized. And the input text. Now, you might have noticed that here in the cart, I have the product's image instead of the style options image. I selected the teddy bear towel, but I don't see that image. So let's go back to the dashboard to change that. General settings, card and order, and show the replacement image in the card. Yes, save options. Back to the site, refresh, and there I have my teddy bear towel. So that's how you can replicate the block of options that we have in our personalized towel in the live demo. Okay guys, so that was it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you again for our next video.